What's up everyone? I hope you're having a good night. As I said, I would be doing some backdrop videos just to kind of solidify my credibility with traders and investors just to establish a rapport of trust. Um, so anyhow, um, and on October 26th, um, you can see that I was warning my followers that I felt that digital world acquisition was going to fall to $42 and my plan was to maybe load the boat 50% at $50 and 50% at $42 but ultimately my prediction was that digital world acquisition would fall to $42 that was based off of my chart analysis um, I did happen to be right um, except there was a fearful reaction to that dip so it did dip a bit lower and I'll show you that info here of course if you just look at the chart you know it it appears it fell to about thirty nine dollars and forty eight cents but if you go to the candlestick charts you can see that the low was thirty six dollars and sixty nine cents so obviously there was quite a fearful reaction to that dip so clearly I did not account um, for quite enough fear in my prediction which just means my prediction was accurate in terms of where I knew the price would fall but I didn't take into account enough of the fear factor for this particular stock however anyone who took my advice to buy in at that level was still able to more than double their money so that ended up being a good investment because that's what I was suggesting is that it's just a way to double your money and get out uh, due to what I felt was a high risk factor on a volatile stock now what we're seeing here is a double top formation and a mini double top formation so I'm not recommending a buy on this right now even though with talks of Trump coming back to social media, to digital world and acquisition, or fun where moon. I'm not recommending a buy in digital world acquisition at this point. However, if you want to take a risk around this $50 range, um, you know, this is where I'm thinking you may want to consider getting 50% of what you would like to risk and that's just giving you an idea that's just kind of this baseline level here of support and again keep in mind be prepared to average down at around forty dollars in case we see support loss at this baseline